Now to sports fans turning their attention to Detroit. We will be in the spotlight this spring for two major sporting events. This Friday, March Madness is hitting the Motor City as the Sweet 16 tips off at Little Caesars Arena. And then a month from today, April 25th, Detroit is on the clock for the NFL Draft. We have team coverage downtown as the city prepares to welcome hundreds of thousands of fans, beginning with Carolyn Clifford, who is live in Campus Marshes, counting down to draft day. And Carolyn, it looks like you are joined by uh, a certain section, a cheering section. Listen, anyone who knows me, they know I love cheerleaders. I was a cheerleader. Yep, I am here with the Cast Tech Varsity cheerleading team. There are five of them who were brave enough to join me out here. They were actually in the first commercial back when Detroit was pitching itself for the draft, and some believe it has become just as big as the Super Bowl. And before we move on, girls, you got to cheer for me. Let me hear it. NFL Draft 2024, Detroit is your turn. All righty, all righty. Now listen, we love cheering with the girls here and bringing up the hype, but we also got a chance to speak to uh, a business person in downtown Detroit to understand why people are drawn here from all over the country and the impact that it is going to have on the bottom line and the millions that it will mean for Detroit and beyond. Take a look. It has been a little more than 700 days since Detroit was announced as the host city for the 2024 NFL Draft. And now with about 30 days left until the big day, all the work is nearly complete. Really, it's the only thing we really have to get done is the NFL has to build out their stage and all their interactive gear. Um, but we're ready as a city. I mean, the roads have been paved. We've got everybody excited. We've got the personnel ready to go. Claude Molinari with Visit Detroit says the Super Bowl puts 65,000 people in the stands. But draft day brings more than 350,000 sets of eyes on the city and the region. More importantly, they spend lots of money. What kind of economic impact is this going to make, especially with, you know, the businesses? We anticipate somewhere between 150 and 200 million dollars of direct spend. Claude says in the last two weeks he's seen it's Detroit really Mayor great. Mike Duggan and, more than he uh, has in years, jobs. making sure the city will be shining bright like the diamond it really is. And from Corktown to Greektown to Eastern Market, we've got our, uh, our ancillary places set up. And then, of course, the downtown footprint, Hart Plaza, uh, Capitol Park, Beacon Park, Grand Circus Park, and of course Campus Marshes where the commissioner is going to be announcing all the draft picks. It is going to be a party for everybody and the best part, unlike the Super Bowl, all are welcome because it is a free event so anybody can come. Families from all over will be here enjoying the NFL draft right here in the Motor City and we can't wait for April 25th. Brian, back to you in the studio. We cannot wait. And a little bit jealous that you got to spend some time at the ballpark there on the corner, Carolyn. Quite the uh, assignment, yes, all right. Yes, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Good to see you. We'll see you back again at 530.